Hi there, and welcome to our Properties of Matter lecture. Our key ideas, why are color, volume, and density classified as physical properties? And why are flammability and reactivity classified as chemical properties? So, our first question. Physical properties are characteristics that can be observed without changing the identity of a substance. So physical properties can help identify a substance. Physical properties can be observed or measured. So examples of physical properties include the shape of an object, the color, odor, texture, state of matter, so whether it's solid, liquid, or gas, the substance melting point, the boiling point, uh, its strength, its hardness, its magnetism, the ability to conduct electricity or heat are also physical properties. Uh, let me make a quick note. Melting point is just the temperature at which an object will melt. Boiling point is the temperature at which an object boils. So melting point, the temperature and pressure at which a solid becomes a liquid. And boiling point, the temperature and pressure at which a liquid becomes a gas. So a little more detailed definitions there. And then we can use physical properties to help determine the uses of an object. So if we were to look at solids, liquids, and gases, uh, we've got some examples here. Here's a solid, here's a liquid in the middle, here's a gas at the bottom. If we look at those at a molecular level, typically uh, we're going to see solids having a definite shape, indefinite volume. So they're very fixed in their shape. A liquid does not have a definite shape, but it does have a definite volume. And then a gas has no definite shape, no definite volume. Just kind of define those uh, three really quick. Density is also a physical property, and we'll talk more about density on the next, uh, the next lecture, but really quick. Just to define these terms, density is the ratio of mass of a substance to how much volume that substance occupies. And we use the formula density equals mass divided by volume. And commonly, the unit of density is grams per cubic centimeter. Uh, we also... Also use grams per milliliter, or we could do grams per cc, which is also cubic centimeters. So uh, for water, one milliliter equals one cubic centimeter, which also equals one cc which is also cubic centimeter and then density is different from weight because it has a mass and volume that are uh, put into the relationship So looking at chemical properties, why are flammability and reactivity classified as chemical properties? So a chemical property describes how a substance changes into a new substance, either by combining with other elements or by breaking apart into new substances. So when you think about chemical properties, we're getting something new. And flammability is a chemical property. It's the ability of a substance to burn. And reactivity is a chemical property as well. It's the capacity or ability of a substance to combine chemically with other substances. And there is a difference between physical and chemical properties. Physical properties can be observed without changing the identity of a substance. So I can take a piece of paper and I can crumple it up. I can unfold it. It's still a piece of paper. But with chemical property, um, 
can only be observed in situations in which the identity of the substance changes. So I know from previous experience that paper will burn, but if I were to not know that it burns, I'd have to light that paper on fire to see that it does react the way it does with fire. And when we change it, we can't get the paper back, right? At least not by physical means. Um, in order to get the paper back, we'd have to take that ash and we'd have to use chemical means to get it back. Uh, some examples here, physical properties, the malleability of a nail, the ability to bend that nail. It's still a nail. Uh, yeah, it's bent, but we can still, still use it as it is. Uh, putting red food coloring into some water. We just change the color of the water. We could separate this food coloring back out from the water. Chemical properties. Uh, when this iron nail reacts with oxygen, it rusts. Um, yes, we can remove and clean the rust from the iron. But um, when rusting occurs, there is a change in the substance, so it's not exactly the same. And then if something were to react with bleach, uh, that reactivity with bleach would also be a chemical property. Thanks for listening.